this afternoon, I'm going to be presenting on first aid and CPR. What am I presenting on? First aid and CPR. Now, what is first aid? First aid is a treatment given by the first person to arrive on the scene of an emergency or an accident. Right? A person giving first aid aims to first preserve life and aid in recovery of the person or the, the, um, the victim. Now, these are the aims of the first aider. To assess the situation first, act quickly and correctly, hand over to a more qualified person once they arrive. So, during first aid, during an emergency, you're going to act quickly. First, and first, you're going to assess the situation. If you walk in here and this person is lying on the floor or even on the desk and they're not moving, you're going to ask them, Are you okay? Are you okay? If there's no response, then you're going to check for pulse. How do you check for pulse? You check the wrist. Show me your wrist. Or, yes, you can check his neck. All right, use your finger, check your pressure tap. Use your finger if there's any pumping going on. Look to the right. Yes, under the neck here. Very good. Or behind the ear. The blood going to the head. Or even, even the, anywhere there's the blood, is, the blood vessel is closed. So even in the foot, blood goes to the foot that way. All right, but usually you check under the arm or the neck or the wrist. Or, the or, or behind or under the neck. Alright? Good. So those are where you're going to check. Now, if it's a case where the person seems as if they were electrocuted, so you're going to check if water is on the ground and if electricity is, is leading to it. Because if you just step in there and you didn't assess the situation, you can actually get injured as well. So you're going to assess, it, assess the situation first. Then, once you've assessed the situation, you're going to act quickly. What are you going to do? You're going to check the pulse. Check if the person is responding, all right? And then you're going to begin CPR. Now, what is CPR? CPR means cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Now, the first aider should always check the ABC. What does ABC mean? Yeah. ABC means air, yeah. A, yeah. airway. Check the airway if it is blocked. So you're going to open the person's mouth. You're going to tilt the head back. Open the person's mouth, tilt the head back, open the person's mouth and look if there's any food or anything blocking their airway. Because remember the air goes into your, into your windpipe and down to your lungs. How do you check the airway? You're going to check for breathing. How do you check for breathing? You're going to listen for any breathing. Listen to the person's mouth and nose. So you're going to listen. If there's no breathing, you're going to check for circulation. Otherwise known as the pulse. So you're going to check the person's pulse. Where are the person's places you can check? Wrist and neck. neck and behind the ears. Very good. Next, the first aider should look, look, smell. What are you going to smell for? If there's any burning or so on, right? Yes, sir. And listen for danger to the victim or him or herself. So, this is what you can use. The doctor ABC. Danger. You're going to check for danger. Then, if there's no danger, you're going to check for a response. Response means that the person is breathing. Then, you're going to check airway. Is the person... Sorry. Response means if there's any... If they respond to you. If they respond. If they don't move with them groan or so. Airway, you're going to check if the person is breathing. And... and um, or, sorry. Airway, if, if the person has anything blocking them. And breathing, you're going to check the breathing. And circulation, you're going to check for pulse. After assessing the situation, the first aider should apply mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation and chest compression CPR until help arrives. So, when you, act, when you enter the situation and you see the person on the floor, you're going to call for help. Ask the person to call the ambulance. Then, you're going to come now and begin CPR. So, don't just begin CPR and other people are outside and they could have called for the ambulance for you. Alright? So you're going to ask them to call the ambulance. So while that is happening, then you're going to begin the CPR. Now, what is, what is 
CPR. Alright? Now, CPR is giving chest compressions. Alright? So, you're going to find the middle of the chest, right here. Right? And you're going to press in the person's chest, about 2 inches. Press. You're going to give them 15 chest compressions. 15. How many? 15. So, really, you're going to lock your fingers like this. Everybody lock your fingers like this. Like this. And you're going to use the heel of your hand. Where's the heel of your hand? Right here. Very good. And you're going to press in the person's mid rib. Right here. It's like you're restarting the heart. You're going to give them 15 compressions. How many compressions are you going to give? 15. 15. And you're going to mix the compressions with two breaths. How many breaths? Two. two. Breaths. So you're going to open the person's mouth and blow two oh, times. And you're going to watch the chest rise. Alright? Once the chest rise, you're going to... Well, by the way, you have to pinch the nose so that the ear doesn't come through the, yeah. their nose. You're going to pinch the nose and blow. If, it, if it's a stranger, you can use a piece of plastic yeah. and bore a hole in the plastic and put it over their mouth. Yeah, if it's a family member, yeah, you can go ahead and use them up. Alright? So you're going to squeeze the first nose and blow into the breath. A big, deep breath. And breathe into the person's left, um, chest. You're going to give them the breath of life. That, or the kiss of life. That's what they call it. The kiss of life or the breath of life. So after you blow and the chest rise, you're going to blow, blow one more time. And watch the chest rise. And then you're going to give 15 compressions again. How many? 15. Very good. Now, what is mouth to mouth? What is mouth to mouth? We just go breathe the breath into the person's mouth. Here are the steps for mouth to mouth. One, open the airway by tilting the head back. So you open the airway, tilt, use one hand and tilt the head back. And open the mouth. Right? Yes. Then pinch the nose firmly. Pinch the nose opposite. Good. Make sure that no ear can escape. Because we're going to blow. In their mouth. And no ear should escape to the nose because it's going to defeat the purpose of what you're doing. Take a deep breath and seal your lips around the casualty's mouth or around the mouth and nose of an infant. So if it's a baby, your, your mouth is bigger than the baby's whole face almost. So you're going to blow over both the nose and the mouth because the baby's face and, and nose and mouth are very close in comparison to your mouth. When you open your mouth, it's like you cover the whole baby face. Alright? So, you're going to give or around the mouth and nose of an infant and give two breaths. How many breaths? Two, two breaths. Blow, their, blow into their mouth until the chest rises. What are you going to wait until? The chest, chest rises. rises. Then allow their chest to fall. When the chest falls, what do I mean? Six. Go back. So, you're going to take up and you're going to lift up yourself and take another deep breath. And Take another breath. Check for a pulse after every 10 breaths. So that's, you see how many times you're going to have to do this, the, the, the mouth to mouth before you can check the pulse? 10 times. Right? After 10 breaths, rather. So you're going to, 10 breaths times 2, that's how many breaths you're going to give? 20. 20. Right? So you're going to blow 20 times. Alright? So, how, what, what I mean by that? You're going to give them 2 breaths. And then, and then the 15 chest pumps, then you're going to blow again two times, 15 chest pumps, blow again two times, 15 chest pumps, until you reach how much? 10. 10. 10 breaths, which will be 20, 2 times 2, right? Note that chest compressions must always be combined with mouth to mouth. So you can't just like give chest compressions alone. You are right? You're going to give 15 chest compressions and how many breaths? Two breaths. Then 15 chest compressions, then two breaths. Give two breaths, right? Place heel of hand at just above the mid rib margin and breastbone. Place another hand on top and interlock fingers. Keep your elbow straight. So you're going to keep your elbow straight when you're doing it. So you're going to lock your elbows. You're not going to bend up your hand like this. You're going to keep it straight. And like that. Follow? Everybody follow? Yes. Then now, press down two inches and release pressure. 
Repeat the compressions 15 times. Or at once per second. So one, two, three, right? Two breaths to 15 compressions. Don't stop until they improve. What does that mean? When they improve? When they start to breathe. breathe. Now once they start to breathe and you can see that life coming back to the person. They're recovering. We're going to, they're recovering or coming back. So we're going to talk now about the recovery position. So the recovery position is this. We're going to put one leg straight. This man can't really bend, so you know. We're going to have one leg straight. Right? I'm going to demonstrate. One leg straight. And one leg bent. Yes, and one leg bent. So this leg will be straight, this one will be bent. And you're going to put, the first, put one arm like this, and the other like this. Why are you going to raise up the person's body? So that no blood, like the person vomit, blood or, or, or saliva or so, it doesn't run into their nose back. Alright? Or they don't jump in their body fluid. So you're going to raise up the head. So when you put the arm under here, when you put this arm under here, it raises their head up. Alright? And this one kind of keeps them stay. So one like this, one like this, and leg like that. Everybody follow? Yes. So the recovery position. The recovery position prevents the tongue from blocking the airways. What does it do? Prevents the tongue from blocking the airways. And the swallowing of any blood and saliva. And, and what else? Saliva. Blood and saliva from going down the, the lungs. How do you do it? Place the arm at 90 degrees with the elbow bent. Let me see you do it. Place one arm at 90 degrees with the elbow bent. Then now, place the palm facing up. The other arm is placed across the chest. Palm, uh, um, palm, palm up, right? The palm resting against the cheek. Rest the palm against the cheek. Right? So it's like this. Everybody see? The, um, the furthest thigh pulled up. So the, the thigh, this thigh up, is going to be pulled up. Right? Resting on the next leg. Lift the chin up. Up and um, forward. Why are you going to lift the chin forward? So that, so that, so that, yeah, so that they, they can breathe. Check that the casualty cannot roll forward or backward. So that's why you're going to make sure that they're like this. If they roll forward, they're going to fall in their, in their blood or saliva. And if they roll backwards, they're out of the recovery position. Check breathing and pulse if they stop. So you're going to check, keep checking on the person. You know they will be recovering. Yeah, you're, you're, not, you're not going to leave them and go. You're not just still there. You're not sitting there and watch them recover. When they're in this position, you're giving them a chance to recover on their own. Everybody follow? Yes, sir. And take action if needed if the pulse stops. So you're going to just check on them, check if their pulse is still going, you know. Um, just make sure that they are so they would be in recovery position. The recovery position would be like this. So my, 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 my um, victim cannot move like this. Alright? So, now tell me what you learned. Tell me what you learned today. Yes? About the recovery position. Very good. What about the recovery position? Very, very good. Touch the high five. What did you learn? First aid. About the first aid? First aid. First aid. First aid. First aid. Tell me something about the first aid.
they can call me Baptist, Baptist, Baptist district, but the plastic. Yes, yes. But I'm going to argue that that. Yes. yes. So, 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 so,